what are the two things you would recommend focusing on after getting a funded account? So speaking of self-sabotage, how do we tamp that down and grow and have success once we are funded? If you find yourself with a funded account, it would be very good to learn very quickly how to be a funded trader so you can keep the account because a lot of people get funded and they, they have no idea how to do that part of it. Um, if you are, if you find yourself where you have a funded account, one thing I would really check myself into is how did you pass that account? And it is so common to get results in our trading in unsustainable ways. It's just massive. We're doing things and we're optimizing for the wrong outcome. The outcome cannot be get funded. It just can't be yep. because you can't eat yep. off of a funded account. You eat off of your withdrawals. And if you are doing things that are not that are not sustainable from a risk perspective and from a from a, a, a you know trade quantity perspective, all sorts of things. If you're doing things that are not sustainable, that get you there with some kind of a, a cutting the you know cutting the a little bit of a cutting corner sort of a thing that kind of gets you the result of your funded trader, the market has this beautiful way of giving you exactly what you deserve. And um, I, I find that a lot of people with results in general, passing accounts in general, is they've just optimized it for the wrong thing. They're trying to get funded. You can't try to get funded. You have to get funded, but you need to get your withdrawals out. And so if you find yourself funded, I would take a good hard look in the mirror of like, okay, how did I get here? Did I you know, struggle with several combines and then on one day I just blew it out of the water, passed, and then I coasted to the end? you are in very dangerous water. <laughs> that is not a good spot to be in at all. And don't let the fact that you have a funded account fool you. Um, so you know, yeah, I would definitely go back and, and really make sure that you're optimizing for the right thing. And the second thing I would really focus on if you're in a funded account is, yeah, probably getting your first withdrawal. <laughs> Just whatever, whatever you think about building a cushion, doing whatever, the trading journey can get a lot harder and longer than you think. And if you're in a position where you're ready for a good withdrawal, don't just get that withdrawal out. <laughs> Make sure you get your first withdrawal. Yeah. And if you haven't had a first yeah. withdrawal yet, highly recommend it. I had one many, many years ago and it is a great feeling to finally kind of cross that off your list. And it kind of lightens the, the stress a little bit too, of being in a funded account. Once you get that first payout, you know, it's, it's a really nice feeling. You feel like you accomplished something and then you can just keep on going from there and, and maintain that momentum. But God, does it suck if you cop into a funded account and lose it within a day or two? No doubt. No doubt.